Hey, what's going on guys? Brian from Zombie Guitar here. Um, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to correctly hold a pick. Okay? As simple and as basic as it sounds, um, you will find that many different people hold picks many different ways, um, and a lot, of them are, a lot of them are incorrect. Sometimes people will hold a pick like this with two fingers. Sometimes people will hold a pick with just one finger pinched together like that. Sometimes people will hold a pick kind of like in their knuckles like that or in a fist like that, those are all incorrect ways of holding the pick, okay? The correct way to do it is like so. You want to take your first finger and look at the way that your first finger is pointing. This is your first finger, right? Look at the way that your finger is pointing. Now look at the pick. The pick is also shaped in a point, kind of like a triangle. Now you want the pick to rest on the side of your index finger and you want it to be pointing in the same direction as as your finger is pointing, okay? So you want to rest it right on the side there, and then you just want to put your thumb over top of it to hold it, okay? And then you want the tip of your finger and the tip of the pick to roughly be at the same level, okay? So it's going to look something like this, all right? Tip of my finger and the tip of the pick are roughly at the same level, and my thumb is holding it, okay? Now what this allows me to do is get this type of rotation with my finger. Okay? As I move my thumb, my finger is free to rotate this way. Okay? Because when I'm playing, I want to have the ability to do that rotation. Okay? That allows me to either hit the strings at an angle with my pick, or allows me to hit the strings with the flat edge of the pick. Okay? Either kind of at an angle or kind of with the flat edge. That's why you want to be able to rotate like that. And the reason that you want the pick to be aligned with your finger now to be at the same level like that is because you're going to be able to get certain tones by hitting the string with your pick and your finger now at the same time, okay? Uh, pinch harmonics, uh, certain, uh, certain kind of like dampened tones, certain things that wouldn't otherwise be possible if you were to just hit the strings with the pick alone, okay? Those things will be uh, topics for other lessons, obviously. But just for now, know that this is the correct way to hold your pick, okay? So I'm going to give you another angle of looking down, coming from my perspective. The camera's going to be coming down this way, so you can see a top angle of how I'm holding the pick, okay? Okay, so here's an angle looking at it from sort of my perspective, all right? See how I'm able to rotate there? and my fingernail and the pick right at the same spot there okay so when I'm playing I want to be able to have the option of hitting the pick this way or striking at an angle So that's, that's the generally accepted correct way to hold a pick, all right? So although you'll see other people holding them differently, that doesn't necessarily mean that they are all the optimal ways of holding the pick. So if you develop a bad habit, if you happen to start playing with a fist like this or something, and then one day later on down the line, you come to learn of the pinch harmonic technique, which requires you to hold your pick like this and to strike the string with your finger down the pick at the same time, well, you're going to have to unlearn your old habit and you're going to have to relearn this new habit of holding the pick the correct way. So, um, you might as well just start doing it right from the start, alright? So, that's how you hold a pick correctly. Um, if I was unclear on anything, if I left anything out, if you're confused about anything, hit me up. I'll be glad to get back to you. Thanks a lot.